Hello folks and welcome back to the channel. The Quest Pro has finally been revealed by Meta and it will have a number of pretty impressive features including a Snapdragon XR2 Plus chipset that apparently will have 50% higher sustained power than the Quest 2. You're going to get facial tracking, leg tracking and eye tracking which means it should have support for favorited rendering. Also, the big deal here is the AR capabilities. With this new headset, you will have full colour pass-through, and it does look very, very impressive indeed. That's something that I would like to see in VR headsets, particularly because you could sort of place an AR area where your hardware is so you can see it when you're in VR. That's kind of cool, I must admit. The controllers also look very cool, and gone are the tracking rings that we're so used to, and that is because each controller has its own sort of, um, well, three cameras actually, which will allow the controller to perform its own inside out tracking solution. That, I have to say, is very impressive as well. In terms of the display resolution, well, it's actually pretty much almost identical to the Quest 2, which is 1800 times 1920, which is 3.5 MP per eye. But the big deal here is it will have pancake lenses. And with pancake lenses means a much better sweet spot. I'm also interested actually that Meta are going to tap into the dimming zones of the headset, which may mean better contrast and better blacks. All this sounds fantastic, all up until the point where we realise that this headset will not have a DisplayPort connection. Oh my god. How could they do this to us? They build one of the most incredible VR headsets, well, AR, mixed reality headsets we've seen ever. But to be honest, we're still going to suffer from the same video compression issues that all of the other headsets have that either use a USB-C or an AirLink connection. Not to mention that for me personally, I could not be less interested in all of the facial tracking stuff. You do not want to see the faces I pull when I try and land the Flying Iron Spitfire, that's for sure. But anyway, that is the specs. Please do let me know in the comments what are your thoughts on this. I'm a grumpy git. I have no interest in VR chat or anything social in VR, apart from perhaps flying around a beautiful location with fellow flight simmers and maybe the odd bit of crazy golf. The price of this headset will be $1,500, which is about £1,300 or so, and it will ship on October the 25th. And one more other thing before I disappear into the sunset, Meta have teamed up with Microsoft. Now, what will that mean in terms of the Windows Mixed Reality platform and also perhaps even HP? I think everyone in the comments will agree that we would love to see a Reverb G3. Well, hopefully... That will still be on the cards. Thank you so much for watching, folks. I'll see you all again very soon. Bye-bye for now.